Hey guys, it's CC Sinks here. Today I'll be showing you how to group multiple tracks into, well, one group. So this works on any version of Vegas. First thing you want to do is you want to select all the tracks that you want to merge. So let's say I want to merge track 8 up to 4. You just hold down shift and it go up to 4. And if I wanted to do all of them, I'd just go up to here to 1. So you basically start from your last track to the first or vice versa. Now, another issue that I've noticed when merging tracks, if you say you hold control to select specific tracks, I'm going to select six and four. And then if you decide to hold shift and click on another track, it tends to crash Vegas. This happened to me multiple times, well, twice when I was recording and testing this. So this is a bug in Vegas Pro 18, a current build I have. I'm going to put it up in the screen right now so you can see the build I have. Just in case if you have the same build as me, you avoid doing this and avoid losing all of your progress it tends to crash vegas for some reason i don't know why anyways select tracks separately like if there's stuff in between that you do not want to group you just hold down control and it selects those specific tracks but anyways if you want to merge all of them what you have to do once you selected your tracks you just simply right click on one of the tracks you can't right click down here or you can't right click up here you have to right click on one of the tracks it can be any and then you go to track group right here and go up here to group selected tracks, click on it, and you should see this pop up. And this means your tracks are grouped. Now, if you want to name the group tracks, what you can do is you can double click in this blank area where my cursor is, double click, this should pop up, type anything you want to name it. And then you can click down on this arrow to collapse the track group and it should look like this. Um, this also can be helpful for rendering. It could increase rendering speeds because normally uh, when I render stuff, I simplify things by just doing this. So it doesn't render any of like, the preview thumbnails in the clips, although I have that disabled by default to avoid crashes. And it doesn't render the waveforms for each clip, like the audio, like you can see here, right here. This is it for this video. If you guys are struggling or anything like that, just comment down below and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.